presentation will be on My Scouting Tools, creating an account, and taking youth protection training. My Scouting Tools is best experienced using the latest version of Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. It also works with the latest version of Safari and Internet Explorer. To access My Scouting Tools, go to the website my.scouting.org. Notice the period between my and scouting. It is my.scouting.org. To log on to My Scouting Tools, you need an account. You can use the account that you had with the old My Scouting system. If you don't have an account, uh, we'll go through the how to create an account in the next few slides. Then we will walk through how to log on uh, with your account and then how to take youth protection training. So to create an account, click on the Create Account button. Once you've clicked on that button, it'll present you with this screen and ask if you've already been associated with the Boy Scouts of America. Now that means at any time. Uh, have you been a scout? Were you a leader a few years ago? Uh, if in any way you were registered with the Boy Scouts of America, uh, click yes here. Otherwise, click no. If you selected yes, that you were associated with Boy Scouts at one time, it'll ask if you know your Boy Scout member number. Uh, your member number is on your membership card. Uh, it's also, if you are currently registered, uh, check with your unit committee chairman. They have it in your roster, in the roster of your uh, unit. Uh, so you would select uh, yes, uh, that you do know your membership number if you do, and then it will prompt you for membership number. If you select no, then uh, it, you will be sent to a search screen to see if, uh, the, based on your personal information, we can find a record for you. This is important because your membership number ties in all of your records. So if, we, if you currently are registered, um, but you forgot what, uh, what your login information was for uh, my scouting tools or my scouting this will bring that information up and we can associate your membership number with your uh, my scouting tools if you click yes that you were associated with the boy scouts of america at one time it will come up with uh, this screen for personal information. This is so that we can search our database and find an existing uh, membership ID number for you. If we do that, then uh, any trainings that you had done in the past will show up in your record uh, that we're creating now for uh, My Scouting Tools. So to do that, to do this search, uh, fill in the required fields. The required fields are these red asterisk fields here. Um, fill those in. Use the address that you had at the time that you were registered uh, with the Boy Scouts, if you can remember. And uh, the more information you put in, the better it will be on the search. So, but the, the fields that have the red asterisk are required. Uh, once you put those fields in, go ahead and click uh, to accept the terms and conditions uh, button uh, so they can do the search. And then put in the code that is displayed here in the box and click next. If you can't read this code, you can click on this on these green arrows and a new code will come up uh, and once you can read it then go ahead and put that in there and click the next button anybody that is found any record that's found that looks like 
uh, it might be your record is displayed and you can if it is your record you can select it uh, pressing the select button uh, if none of the records that are displayed are yours uh, just click on create a new account and we will create a new account for you if the system did not find your account then uh, go ahead and put in a unique username that uh, you can use for my scouting tools and click on uh, check availability uh, this will do a search to see if anybody else has already uh, has that username <coughs> if they don't uh, then you can use it otherwise you have to select a different one and then once uh, you do uh, find one that you can use you can collect you can click the next button once uh, one was found that was available uh, you it will then prompt you for a password to use and uh, you need to put that in twice and then a uh, security question and the answer to that question and select a second security question and an answer to that. These security questions are used to recover your password in case you forget it. On the right are the requirements for what you need for a password. Um, passwords are case sensitive so remember that uh, if you put in an uppercase letter then uh, you'll always have to put an uppercase letter in uh, your password. Once you've entered that uh, information, your account is, is now created. And if, when you click the Continue button, uh, you will be presented with the main uh, screen of My Scouting Tools. So if you know your membership number and you replied yes to the previous screen, then go ahead and put your membership number in and your date of birth and click next. The system will do a search and it will bring up uh, a record that I matches that membership number. If that's you, then go ahead and uh, press the select button here. If it isn't you, uh, then go ahead and, and select create new account. If the system did find an existing account for you, it can give you your uh, username and password of that existing count, account. So uh, what you would do is, in the previous slide, uh, you would select the, the account that it identified as you, and then you'll be presented with this screen. Uh, it will, you have a, different, a number of different options here of how it's can send you information on that account. It can either send it to the email address on record that it has for you. And if, if that's still your email address, then go ahead and click select here. Uh, if you had previously put in online security questions, uh, you can select that option and answer the questions uh, that the system will present you. If you do not have this email account anymore, uh, select the fact that you don't have it anymore. If you uh, had uh, chosen the option to send the uh, username to a different email ad address, uh, then the verify account uh, system screen comes up. There are a number of things here that are required. Uh, notice the red asterisk on the right. So you're going to need to put in your uh, current uh, primary email address, your last name, and your zip code, and your date of birth. Now this would be the, the last name and zip code 
that the system knows you as, uh, even if today it's different than it was in the past. I'll show you ways of changing that information uh, later. Uh, you put in your date of birth and then you put in the new uh, primary address. The one that's up on top here is the old primary address, email address, and then down at the bottom here is the new one where you want it routed to, and then confirm the new uh, primary email address, and then click the next button to go to the next screen. You will be emailed an access code, uh, and you would put that access code in this screen. Once you have uh, received it, uh, go ahead and click the next screen. If you never receive this access code, then contact the help desk. It's called Member Care at 972-580-2489. And they're open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central Time during business uh, work days. Or you can email myscouting at scouting.org. If you run into any problems with the system, this is your help desk. So uh, keep write down that information. Once uh, you've been sent a user ID, go ahead and enter that user ID in uh, in the login screen. And then after you've signed on, uh, you can uh, you'll be presented with the uh, home screen. This is what the home screen looks like in my scouting tools. Uh, there's usually news items that are uh, listed uh, on the left side of the screen, and then on the right uh, there are I uh, images that you can click to go directly to certain things. In this case, youth protection training. Uh, if you wanted to take youth protection training at this time, uh, you would just click on this picture of youth protection training and uh, you go right to the training session. Uh, this is for this picture towards the bottom here that says leader training, click here. This is for uh, what's known as leader specific training that's available online for Cub Scouts and venturing right now. Um, eventually Boy Scout leader specific training will also be available at this site and you can click on that for there. Uh, click here for that information as well or to go to that training as well. Up on the upper right corner it uh, displays your name and I will show you what it looks like when you click on this button here, which gives you some information. On the left side is the home button, and going to the My Scouting tools, um, you will use this button uh, to get to the different tools. My Scouting tools is positioned to be the portal for uh, volunteers to use to access different online tools uh, offered by the Boy Scouts of America. So if you click on this home button up here in the upper left corner, you will see a number of items that will display on your screen. And these are different tools that you can access uh, that do different things. The My Dashboard tool is your profile and it also gives you access to training as well. So let's click on this, and I'll show you what happens uh, when we click on that. When you click on My Dashboard, what will first come up is your status with Youth Protection Training. So that Youth Protection Training, which we call YPT, uh, will display your status for that. It'll give you the last time that you uh, took the training, and if you would like to uh, take the course, you would click on the arrow at the right hand side and you can either take it uh, or retake it uh, or if you had been interrupted while you were taking the course, uh, you can resume where you left off. There are three types of youth protection training that are listed here. Um, 
general youth protection training that you need for any uh, for the Cub Scouts and the Boy Scouts and varsity and merit badge counselors uh, whenever somebody says you need to take youth protection training it's usually this first one venturing leaders also take a venturing version of youth protection training which is geared for issues that come up during the high school age group and then exploring has their own youth protection training as well When you click on uh, any of the ways to access youth protection training, you're presented with this screen and you would pick either you want it in English or you want it in Spanish. And then you would take it. It, it lasts about 20 minutes. When you're done with the training, um, you will present it, be presented with this screen which will allow you to print a certificate. So you can put in your if, if the system already knows who you are, um, it will put in your name, otherwise you can put your name in and the unit number you're associated with and click the print certificate button. Uh, very often, if you're, this is the first time you're taking youth protection training, uh, that means that you're probably coming in to the organization as a leader and somebody wants the certificate, so if you click on print certificate, you're given a PDF file that you can download and print or email to whoever is asking you for the certificate. Um, you'll also be presented with this if you're retaking youth protection training. Youth protection training lasts for two years uh, and then it expires so you have to take it every two years. Before we end this presentation, I wanted to show you how you can change your contact information and, and any other personal information that's out there in case uh, what you had identified when you set up your account was, was old contact information or addresses or whatever. So to do that, uh, you would go into your profile. To get to your profile, uh, from you would go to my dashboard and click on um, the home button again, click on my dashboard, and then select my profile. This screen will come up. Anything in green here, you'll see a little green uh, button. Uh, you can change uh, and edit. So if you click up here, and you will be able to edit some of the fields uh, in your profile information. You can also add uh, home addresses and select those as primary. <clears throat> so if you moved, you can select a new address. You can change phone numbers. Um, you can add uh, email addresses and delete old emailed addresses. And then there's other uh, information here you can update if you wish as well. So you're able to change a lot of your contact information. Uh, in your profile. If you change any of these fields, uh, your council record will also change to that, that information. So this is a way of updating council when you move or you change your email address or something like that. Also just of note, if you are registered, uh, this is your membership card and you can actually click on this and uh, then it it'll give you a PDF file with your membership card that you can print so you can have a current membership card. Note this is your member ID. Uh, this is the current member ID that you have uh, in the system uh, when you set up your My Scouting account. Uh, if it is associated with the, um, the same membership ID at Council, if that's the same number, then every time you update your training, uh, your council record will update. And so all of the training that you have done um, will show up at council as well. This, by the way, this, this picture here shows a train patch. That means that the person is, this person is, turn, is a unit commissioner and they have taken their basic training for that. Uh, and so it shows. This per, he's also a, um, 
a committee member uh, for troop, but he has not finished all of his uh, what we call specific training for that position, so you don't see a little trained icon here. That's what that means. Okay, so if you do click on this button in the upper right corner, um, it will show you uh, the name that you have uh, that you've registered uh, my scouting under, the email address, and the membership ID. If you click on this My Account um, button here, you're able to update your password uh, to my scouting tools and you also, will also be able to add some of these security questions uh, which allow you to recover your password if you forget it without having to call uh, the help desk. Uh, also there's some help information here it gives you release details as what, what was the latest things they've added to my scouting tools. Uh, frequently asked questions. If you start having questions about the system, uh, I'm not going to look here first to see if they've already been answered. And this legacy My Scouting will bring you to the old My Scouting uh, web page. Well, that ends our short presentation on how to create an account in My Scouting Tools. Uh, if you do have any questions or you run into any issues, uh, you can call the Member Care Help Desk at uh, this number again, 972-580-2489 uh, during Texas business hours. And uh, alternately, you can send an email to myscouting at scouting.org.